Justin Sutherland. We're just going to keep holding the lambs because there's no easy way to put them no, down. No. Uh, Justin Sutherland, boy, he is doing some big things. The Minnesota chef amazed the judges on the latest season of Bravo's Top Chef. Last summer, he won an episode of Food Network's Iron Chef. And Justin is now combining food that can be eaten with one hand with the nostalgia of the 80s and 90s. From snow cones and cotton candy to Super Mario and pinball, Justin gives us a VIP tour of the new Oxcart Arcade in St. Paul. Hey guys, welcome to the new Oxcart Arcade and Rooftop. This Jurassic Park Arcade, um, it has hands down been uh, the top seller since we've opened and this is my favorite game. It's nostalgic for, for people in my age group, it's, it's fun for uh, young kids, it's interactive. You know, you get to shoot stuff, you get to save stuff. Look at this. Here we kind of have our uh, our virtual bowling. It's a nice hybrid of you know old school skee ball uh, mixed with you know the the modern gaming. There it is. What we really wanted to do with Oxcart was give Lower Town something fun to do. There's there's plenty to eat, there's plenty to drink. But as someone who's lived down here for you know 10 plus years, I've always wanted something to do. Um, and I love video games. Uh, I love having fun. So. Hence is the Oxcart Arcade. I've been playing video games most of my life. You know, I'm a I'm a child of the '80s. I got a, you know I got a Nintendo for Christmas when I was five, and you know I've just, I just I love the classic video games. I love the nostalgia about it. I love the the bringing people together and, and interacting. So back here we kind of have what we're calling uh, calling your mom's living room because um, a lot of this furniture did come from my mom's living room. Um, but not only do we have classic arcade games, but we have some of the old school console games. You kind of just sit back with your friends. Uh, rent the space out private if you'd like, or just check out the controllers and uh, sit and beat your friend in, in some Mario. The biggest thing we want to do here is just bring back nostalgia, bring back fun, bring back interaction with, with people, and just have something that's unpretentious and anybody can just come and sit down and, and play a game or, you know, have some fun food. I got something kind of cool to show you. I know bathrooms aren't really made for TV, but ours is pretty cool. My amazing girlfriend, Annika, actually painted this entire hallway um, with some cool graffiti art. We've got our little uh, Instagramable mirror back there. And in case you forgot which bathroom to go to, um, we've got Zach and Kelly to help you lead the way. The food here is, A, it's all about being able to eat with one hand. It's, it's handheld food. It's stuff that you can take a bite of and con continue playing a game. Uh, there's one thing that I always have to eat when I'm sitting on my couch late night or playing video games, and that's pork fried rice. So not only do we have amazing food, we also have an amazing pastry chef. We do all of our own uh, pastries, um, breads, everything in house. Uh, chef Amy's over here decorating some cookies. Amy's also responsible for our signature house-made pop tart, which are amazing. And we knew we wanted to have a big soft pretzel. There wasn't one that we could buy that I was happy with. Um, so we've made our own uh, giant garlic pretzel knots. For a perfect Chicago dog, you first have to start with an all beef Vienna hot dog, uh, poppy seed bun, and mustard only, no ketchup in Chicago. Definitely have to have the pickled spear, tomatoes, sport peppers. We've got to have nice diced onions, neon bright green relish. Top it off with a little celery salt. So you guys have seen a couple of my favorite things on the menu here at Oxcart Arcade. And just because I love you guys so much, um, and we're self-proclaimed BFF, Steve, I'm gonna send this for you in the studio. Yes, we are, Justin. Justin is my best friend. If he has this never is what agreed you get, to it yes. until uh, right now. So the pork fried rice, oh, let's I'm dish up some, some of these pretzel. uh, pretzels, too. I mean, this is really uh, quite the spread. And what a cool concept, it's too, that celebrates the, the retro, the nostalgia. Yeah. And all the color, and it's it's good food you can hold with your hand, and it's cold, and most oh, of it's cold. This is really delicious. Aren't you so happy you're here today? I am. I love it I here. Mean, can I come every day, please? You are, you are pregnant, and we have given you so far brownies. A massive pretzel and cheese, and you can have this pork fried rice. I mean, there's a lot of really great things going on today. How's I'm trying that? to contain myself because I will admit I'm starving. Are you really? I am. Listen, we offer you no judgment here. You are uh, you are always welcome. This Justin, is my own. Uh, all of this stuff, the whole concept, it is a wonderful opening May first, my friends. Oxcart is going to be. Uh, uh, they'll have a rooftop Ooh, with good. one of the best views of downtown that you can check out as of May 1st. Plus, games to play like Giant Jenga. <laughs> How fun is this? And Cornhole 2. It is a really fun spot. And I love the energy that Justin Sutherland um, is bringing just to the Twin Cities. Oh, yeah. I would say food scene, but even, I mean, just like the, the scene in general, infusing this new energy and he's just for he's a new fun. clientele. Yeah. He's having fun. He's having fun. And you can tell. And the food tastes great. To boot, real good. All right, eat up, sister. We can keep anything that you want to keep. I want the Pop Tart. No one take it. Okay. Uh, all you need.